for Raymond? Yeah, it's a uh, direct alarm to the sheriff. You, you press this button, and he shows up three weeks later. <laughs> Might as well give it a try. trouble again like we did before, are we? Nope. You are gonna pay for those. I thought we weren't gonna have any trouble, Clippy. Well, no, why should we? Right. Then why do you want me to pay for them? Well, I mean, you, you are stealing. Kimberly's waiting in the truck. Well, then what are you doing here? You're the, uh... Prosecutor's wife, aren't you? You're Ronnie. The mighty fine If Ronnie. we all prayed real hard, would you just fall off the edge of the earth and leave us alone? <sighs> Ronnie Doniger. What are you married to that puppy dog for, anyway? He's always barking at me. Arf, arf. I'll put you in prison again, Raymond. Raymond? Shut up! Want to bet? See, I'm not going to break any laws this time. <laughs> You're breaking one now. Not unless you complain, Clippy. And you're not going to complain. You think if you ate one of these, it would explode in your stomach? Pleasure of Raymond's company. Oh? The cliff store. I'd tell you more, but he doesn't want you to know. Bobby, what are we gonna do? I can't do anything unless Cliff is willing to press charges. I take it he's not. I feel like we're under attack by him. Just like last time. go too far, and I'll put him in prison again. I know. But it's different this time. I mean, we're trying to start a family. And Raymond's so crazy, and he hates you, and he knows me, and... The way he looks at me, I get scared. He had to come back. Why does he do it? Why does... Raymond West live only to make life difficult for everyone else. Carmen, you don't have to be Freud to recognize a bully when you see one. That's all he is, beef jerky. What are you looking at? Who's Lorraine talking to, huh? You like rules, don't you? No. Nobody likes rules. What was prison like? Lorraine! Daddy's looking for his little girl. The banker. Mr. Rules.
he's at it again, only worse. But he damn near dragged my daughter into this truck, Bobby. You tell him, Charlie. Sure look that way, Bobby. I mean, this is attempted kidnapping. Now, can't we send him away again? This time, maybe for life. Lorraine, uh, you've been pretty quiet this morning. You sure you want to go through with this? We can talk alone if you'd like. Teddy dragged me here. Nothing really happened to Gil hysterical about. Lorraine. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. She's a child, Bobby. Charlie, tell him. You know I want Raymond out of our hair, but I wasn't the one being kidnapped. Well, something has got to be done. We can't have him turn this town upside down again. We will get him, and then he will be a repeat offender, and he will do a lot of time. Once we can really nail him with something serious, it'll stand up in court. This won't stand up, Harmon. Well, it's gratifying that so many folks were interested in today's topic. Namely, what to do about Raymond West now that he's back. Obviously, uh, everybody wants to do something. Question is, what? We gotta stop letting him intimidate us. Just stand up to him. That's easy enough to say, but um, Cliff Clifford, you want to tell us all how easy it was to do a couple of years ago? Well, uh, he kept <clears throat> kept stealing from me, so uh, I said, um, Raymond, please stop. It's not a charity, it's a store. Six gun in my face. I told the sheriff of Bobby Doniger. <laughs> Raymond made my life hell after that. Sheriff didn't do one damn thing to stop him. We offered you protection, and we would have put Raymond away for a long time. As it turned out, why, Bobby was lucky to get him to plead guilty to a lesser charge. After you chickened out of going to court. Chickened out? Yeah. Every time Raymond came around to, to intimidate me, you were always stretched too thin. You think anybody's going to trust you again? Boy. All right, listen. Listen, everyone. Listen. The system will work. Yeah. I pledge, and I know Sheriff Jenkins will too, to protect any person who lodges criminal complaints against Raymond West for any intimidation. You don't know what you're talking about, Bobby. He's beat up half the people here and stole from the other half for years. What's been done? He spent a year in prison for pulling a gun on Cliff. Now he says he ain't going back. I believe him. He raped my daughter. And then he sweet talked her. And he sweet talked her to get her dropped charges. And he married her so he wouldn't have to go to prison. She didn't used to walk like that. That's him again. Drunk driving. Get Kimberly all I ever had in my life. Now he's back. Do you think you're going to get rid of him? Okay, son. Okay. Don't know what he's talking about. Just sit down, Sonny. It's okay. I know him. It's okay. What's going on? Well, I don't know, darling. You know, I asked my wife if she'd like to take Kimberly and go to church and worship quietly. And looky here. Everybody else has exactly the same idea. You wouldn't know which end of the hymnal was up, Raymond. Are you, uh, giving the sermon here, Harmon? What's the topic? How to get rid of old Raymond? You didn't tell me about this. Let's go. F well, you know, uh, while we're all here, why don't we just, uh, open up our hymnals? Is this the front, Harmon? Let's open them up here to, uh, him 16. Shall we gather at the river Eric? where bright Eric, angels feed a drop? Now he's not breaking any law, man. With this was a situation. forever Raymond. flowing by the throne of God. Yes, we'll gather at the river, the beautiful, the beautiful...
of Prox. Raymond, seat in a cab. Call the sheriff. Stay away from that window. Amen, Charlie. Amen to that. You'll be out here at 7 a.m. And I don't keep lawyers' hours, Bobby. I'm a working man. 7 a.m. sharp. Yes, sir, Charlie. Well? <laughs> hallelujah, baby. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. Raymond shot his shotgun at the wrong guy this time. Charlie just ordered me out at his place at 7 a.m. sharp. We are going to put that guy away for good. Sure, Daddy was still around, Bobby. I miss him. Yeah. He sure never took any guff from Raymond, did he? If I remember before he died, he caught Raymond siphoning gas from his tractor, kicked him right in the tail. I remember <laughs> well. Raymond never came back either. <laughs> no. Dad says that was because uh, he showed him the exact limb from the tree that he would hang him from if he ever did come back. <laughs> yeah. I guess we all wish old Raymond get hit by a large truck or something. Huh? Make all our lives a lot easier. Amen, Bobby. But I am sure glad somebody else is finally standing up, Charlie. This town's in your debt. Yeah. Right this way, Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff, I wonder if you'd come here and care to repeat to Mr. Doniger that sad tale you told me last night on the phone about being stretched too thin. Now, look, we can't be every place, Charlie. We got here as soon as we could. And if I would broke your windshield. This? This? That little rock? Oh, no. If I had a shotgun, I'd be just as sure as I'm standing here. We combed the entire insides, Charlie. Not one shotgun pellet. Just this. His tires probably kicked it up. You're saying that broken windshield, that my husband's losing control of his truck, chasing after that maniac, that it was all some kind of accident? That's exactly what I'm saying, B. Wait a second. Raymond stole a very valuable...